2.0 came with some new advanced tools. So with our pencil, we now have a rubber band function. Our brush is going to have that adaptive tool for post-processing. We do have a cleanup and fill, and then the HU threshold tool to really narrow down some of those contours for us. Lastly, control Z. So you never have to be worried about making a mistake in auto contour. We can always go back. And even if you've saved, we can go back to your history and always retrieve those prior contours. Another great new tool is our topogram view. So this is going to be an alternate way to view your contours as a 2D projection. This is great for some of that bony anatomy and then just getting another good glance of those contours. All right. We have our axial view here. And then below is going to be that new topogram view. This can be toggled off if you prefer a traditional sagittal coronal view. But I'm going to keep my topogram on today. So this is one of our newer models, our ilium bones. And this is one maybe I want to make a little bit of an adjustment to. All we have to do is pause. And then we can manually scroll to where we want to make some changes. I want to fill this in with our adaptive brush. So I'm going to come over to my table, select my structure, and then I'll select my tool. Here's where we can adjust that brush size and then make it that adaptive tool. We do have the list of shortcuts here, so you always know how to utilize your tools. I can fill this in. If I'm happy with that, move on to our next. For my left ilium, I may just want to tighten up this contour a bit. So I'm going to come to my pencil and use this rubber band tool. I'm able to just pull in that contour, making small adjustments. And once I'm happy, approve that structure, and it'll take us to the next. So bow is one um, that I think is a great use of my absolute favorite tool in auto contour, and that's going to be our recent edit interpolation. So if you find yourself having to make changes on a structure for any reason, you do not have to make those changes on every slice. This will keep track of every few slices for you and interpolate those changes. I'm going to show off a couple different ways to use that here. So I have my structure selected. I want to use this rubber band tool. Maybe I'll just widen that a bit. Say I'm wanting to pull this vowel in. I can go every few slices, and we can see that it's keeping track of those changes for me. So we'll go up just a few more here. We can hit undo in case we make any mistakes. And keep pulling that bow in. And then we're just going to edit that interpolation. So we can see where it's pulled that in for us without us having to edit every slice. This is also great for getting rid of the bulk of a contour if you're not necessarily needing that full contour. So I'm going to go to our most superior slice here, clear this plane, and then bring my crosshair down to where I'd like that bow to stop. We'll clear here. And again, it's tracked those changes, a simple click, and it's gotten rid of that superior bow for us. And then on to another new structure, our ilium marrow. This is one that I really like to use our post-processing tools on. So here's where we can use that remove parts tool. We want to make sure our structure is selected here in the top. We can adjust our size, and then we can also remove in 3D. I'm just going to hit apply here. We can see our contours cleaned up for us. And then we have our fiducials. If we wanted to contour those, we're going to be able to do that here in auto contour. Our HU threshold tool is over here on the left. Our structure to overwrite is going to be what we're creating. And then we're going to be able to limit our results. So I'm not wanting to pick up that HU throughout my entire body, just within my prostate. 
We also have the option of filling or removing parts here, but I'm just gonna set an HU range. I can hit play here. We see those are automatically generated for us. All right, so that's kind of a deep dive into some tips and tricks and the new 2.0 tools.